So RS uh, Twingo has uh, been developed a misfire. Now I've changed the coils because it was a really cheap option, it's like 30 quid for four. And I'd used the cheaper coils before back in 2019 and it didn't make a difference. The next is uh, uh, point of call is the fuel pump. Um, it is known for the fuel pumps to fail on these. They basically end up with uh, a low pressure. Uh, and I've checked all the settings on the ODB2 and yeah, I can see low fuel uh, trim. So yeah, it's, it's struggling to actually get fuel in. Now the reason I'm going for the f uh, fuel pump is because the um, Twingo, RS Twingo Gordini, uh, which my friend Mark had, uh, back in 2016 or 17, something like that, the fuel pump failed on the way home uh, uh, about 100 miles from home and we actually just slowly cruised along at 40 mile an hour. Uh, myself and my friend Chris and we got home and I had to replace the fuel pump on that one. This has got similar symptoms. Um, um, sometimes it will burst into life, sometimes it won't and on lower revs it just misfires. On the higher it actually settles down and you've actually got power. So it could be an O2 sensor because it's complaining about the O2 sensor but I think the O2 sensor is failing um, when uh, or got an issue because there's so much fuel being thrown down into the in uh, past it so yeah so i'm going to change the fuel pump next uh and then see where we go from there this particular pump um even though i bought it for twingo gt it's exactly the same part number even though the ebay um uh, parts matches oh no it doesn't fit it's exactly the same part and it's half the price um so it's exactly the same part number uh, through about three, four different suppliers to the RS one. Uh, so I'm just going to simply use this one. This one was here because our, uh, Twingo GT developed a misfire and it turned to be a, it turned to be a coil pack. So I bought it because it was like 50 quid. Um, keep it as a spare, and I've kept it as a spare. It's been in the, the gar in my shed for about a year and a half, two years. So yeah, got it fresh out the packaging, and I'm just going to put it into the RS and see how that goes. So there we are, the new pump's in, it's all tightened down, the plugs are in. The fuel line here seems a little, it's very difficult, a little loose uh, on this new one, but I'm just gonna basically power it up and if it sprays fuel everywhere, then yeah, this pump doesn't work. <laughs> so it feels like it's, kept, it's, it's catched, I think it just needs pressure behind it. So right, okay, let's go and turn the ignition on. If you uh, see a big fireball, then you know the car's caught on fire. No leaks, but it's still misfiring. So, yeah, something else is going, up, going wrong. It could be spark plugs again. It's easy enough to change them. Um, again, I'm just getting multiple misfire codes uh, and an O2 sensor code, which is, is basically the amount of fuel that's being wafted out. Um, seems to be absolutely fine there it's all connected so yeah right okay let's let's look at doing spark plugs maybe a spark plug has failed okay so that spark plug there absolutely fine this one here looks like this um, and I think what's happening is water's getting down into the things. It's exactly the same problem as when uh, the scuttle here um, uh, basically leaks down here. And then I can actually see it's a little bit corroded there. So I think water's getting down into the uh, spark plug holes and it's then misfiring. And that came out very slightly wet. Very, very, very slightly wet. The other one didn't. The one on that side was dry. This one, well, I'm going to find out next. <laughs> so I'm just going to clean this up and then um, um, put it back in, and hopefully uh, it will uh, it will work for a while anyway. And I, need, I just need to get some new spark plugs, and also cure the reason why the water's getting down in there. Yep, that one is fine. That one is fine, I'll give it a clean up, it hasn't rusted, so it's water getting down into those two cylinders there, and it's also about to rain. I can feel the spots of rain, so right, let's get the, get this thing back together. Okay, so I got some uh, spark plugs. Um, I had to go down to Halfords and get these. I'm not happy with them because they were Bosch ones. I want the NGK ones, uh, which are, I've got on back order, and they're coming. But I wanted to get myself out of a, a fix where uh, I've, this car isn't running properly, so I've put them in 
Uh, so it's got new coils, new spark plugs, uh, new fuel pump as well. Um, let's see whether this thing runs sweetly. Let's hope. Cross fingers. Here we go. Well, it's running better, but it's still misfiring a little bit. You can hear it. See the engine rocking a little bit as well. It's currently on warm up. And there was a, a faint little rattle as it started. Um, yeah. Then this rattle went away, so I don't know. Let's let this idle. Sounds like it's gone off uh, warm up. That's definitely idling better than it was. Right, let's take it out for a test drive. So the plugs I put in temporarily, just to make sure that there's nothing major going on in the engine, was uh, uh, FR78 uh, Bosch plugs. Now, recommended for this engine is FR78X, and the X denotes the spark plug, uh, the spark gap on the electrodes. Nothing. The rest of the plug is completely identical in terms of its dimensions and size. That there was a rattling up front at top, which to me sounded like maybe spark plugs hitting pistons. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I could be very, very, very wrong. And it sort of went away. And uh, yeah, these engines don't have timing chains, so uh, so it wasn't timing chain rattle. Um, but yeah, these FR78s, uh, again, I've checked the dimensions and everything, and again, literally is the actual gap at the end of the spark plug is 1.1 millimeter on the FR78X, and the FR78 is 0 0.8. Um, so it's a much shorter uh, spark plug. But again, if the car is drivable and usable, and I take it easy, as soon as the other plugs come in, I'll put the uh, spark plugs in with the right electro gap. I could change the electrodes but these ones or uh, sorry i could i could increase the spark plug gap because uh, i've got one of those tools uh but it's actually a four uh, uh four uh electrodes in uh, in a circle uh so trying to get them all exactly 1.1 could be difficult uh, and to be honest with you this was a a very cheap solution to see whether the car would actually run okay so I'm just going to take it out now for a, a, a short drive around, nothing too strenuous, and let's see what happens. Okay, so uh, it looks like it was the spark plugs. Um, so the coils could still be alright, the other ones I've got, but again, uh, I don't want to put them back on and then check. Uh, I think it was the spark plugs. The, um, the state of the spark plugs I pulled out were not great, and it's that because the water gets into the spark plug holes uh, from the, um, uh, the the scuttle and gets into the actual uh, the bores and then just rots the spark plug out. The favourite one is uh, number four, and on this car, uh, a year, about six months after I got it, I, I tried to, was trying to change the spark plug and the spark plug snapped where it had rotted, and I managed to get it out. Thank God, otherwise it would have been a head off. Uh, but it was actually uh, two and three, which were rusty. So. Um, what I need to do is address the scuttle again, have a look and see what's happening with the water flow. It's just a bad design um, where the scuttle's in two parts and uh, Renault put foam around where the two halves meet and the foam degrades and then the water goes all over the place. And I've put uh, sealant on there before, uh, so maybe the sealant's leaking or there's some, some other issue. So it seems to be idling. The occasional little misfire but nothing serious um, these tend to burble a little bit anyway they're not they're not very smooth and this has got a slight tune on the engine as well which makes it a little bit richer um, so yeah I'm gonna take it easy with the plugs which are in here because they get the wrong spark plug uh, spark plug gap electro gap uh, and then the new ones will come in next week and I'll swap them over um, but yeah at least the car is usable, workable, um, I can potter around, uh, not go screaming around the place uh, like I usually do. Uh, it's a Renault Sport, you do. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, and then look at the actual uh, scuttle later on. 
All right, thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see you on the next video.